We all know Steph Curry is the best shooter in NBA history. He makes opposing defenses sleepless at night. They literally have to guard him from the moment that he steps foot in their parking lot all the way to the end of a game. Steph Curry is a phenomenal playmaker. He's crafty at the basket when it comes to being able to hit layups. And his most underrated feature that people don't even mention is he's a great help defender. And today in NBA 2K23, I have a build that is going to replicate Steph Curry perfectly. Let's get into it. What's good, everyone? It's your boy Dubs, and I'm back at it with another banger. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button as we are getting so, so close to hitting our goal of 16K subs, but I can't do it without y'all. Make sure you hit that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any more content and smash the like button. Let's try to get the video up to at least 30 likes because for today, I got for y'all the one and only Steph Curry build. Yep, I'm saying it. I'm calling it now. It's a Steph Curry build. We got 99 three pointer. I'm not going to spoil it too much. Make sure you stay locked in all the way through. And if you are a current gen viewer, I will have the current gen version of this build at the tail end of the video. So make sure I stay locked in. But first things first, make sure to sub the dubs. But position, we got point guard. And we're going right jersey number just for today because y'all know I always rock with 14. But today, we're going to win 30 for Curry. And then for the height, we got 6'1". Weight, we're going to go 175. Wingspan, we're going to go 6'2". Body shape, I'm going to go with slide on this one, but you can pick from any of them, really. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a culture shock for y'all, and y'all about to see why. Close shot, we're going to go with 55. Driving layup, we're going to go with 80. And that's it for finishing. I know, go ahead and gasp. <gasps> we didn't put up anything for driving dunk, but you have to sacrifice somewhere when it comes to getting this 99 three ball and just to having the ability alone to finish in general once you get around somebody. 80 driving layup is going to be perfect because you're 6'1". You're going to get the full effect of Hall of Fame Giants Slayer since everyone's like 6'7", 6'9", and above in this game. You're going to be able to go in and still finish when you need to at the basket, or at least just enough to keep the defense honest. Then we're gonna max our three point to a 99, of course. We're gonna leave the mid range alone at an 84, but we're gonna bring the free throw up to an 81. Pass accuracy, we're gonna bring up to a 75. Ball handle, we're gonna bring up to a 92. Now, if you really don't care for like Steph Curry or Trey Young size of escape, you can go ahead and knock this down to like a 90 and still get everything that you really need. But I like to go ahead and add that Curry slide effect because this is really like a Steph Curry build. You already got a 99 three ball. You might as well give yourself the ability to curry slide. Perimeter defense, we're going to bring him to an 84 because you're not going to be a slouch on defense either. I, I don't like seeing any build in this game have no defense. That's just my personal preference. Um, steel, I'm going to bring him to an 85. Believe it or not, silver glove for some reason on these smaller builds works just as well as Hall of Fame. I already tried it on other builds, so just believe me on that. You having silver glove and silver interceptor is going to be plenty enough for you to help on defense as well. And then you're going to leave everything else alone. Put the defensive rebound up to a 40. Acceleration, we're going to bring up to a 90. Speed, we're going to bring up to an 80. And the rest is going to go into Stam. And you should have a 96. And then you got like one low point here. You can go ahead and put it anywhere you want, I guess, because none of this matters. So we'll just go into your defense. So boom, if you made the build correctly, you should have nine finishing, 29 shooting, 21 playmaking, and 20 defense. And then, of course, pretty good... Uh, Pretty good physicals if I do say so myself. And then for takeover options, you get shot creating, sharp, and you get lock takes. So that can really help you if you're really worried about your defense. But for this video, we're gonna go ahead and do, I don't know, pull up precision and limitless range. Really on our Steph Curry stuff, cause you ain't really gonna need limitless that much cause you got half limitless, right? And if you made the build correctly, you should get shades of Mark Price, Fred Van Vliet, and Steph Curry for a shot creator yep and as y'all can see i finally got the right shades up i said this was a steph curry build and look who's the last one to show up to the party steph curry and so people always ask me in these build videos like well what would you do with the badges because i don't really go over it too often because in my mind it's already self-explanatory but just for y'all to see i would go with silver acrobat here you know you put on your silver fearless eventually you can core this and then you can go with your Hoff Giant Slayer, and then maybe like, I don't know, Aerial Wizard for the kicks and giggles, right? That's really all you're gonna need for finishing anyways. Shooting, self-explanatory. I'm going with Hoff Green Machine, probably Hoff Volume Shooter, then go Hoff Range, 
and then probably turn around core this get half agent threes half blinders and then you can do the last three and put in like amped you know and then if you really want to get creative once you get those extra badge points for becoming a starter in my career on next gen you can go ahead and add three of those if you really want half a tireless shooter or it's a tireless shooter that's how you know i'm a 2k old head if you want half amp go ahead and add those extra badges there um if not then really you don't need too much more in shooting because you're going to be able to do everything that you need to do um it's playmaking you get half quick first step of course gold unpluckable we're just gonna put that so for now and then you could do like your gold clamp breaker end up coring that and then of course bump that up because we want that up you can do like cough here and then if you really want to once again if you got the extra badge points you can go ahead and throw more into playmaking get yourself like a silver handles for days if you really care for it i'm not the biggest believer in handles for days um i don't really use on any of my builds my other six one six nine six seven hey, my six eight i don't use it on any of my builds but you know a lot of people do so if you want to you can go ahead and throw that in there if not then this is probably going to be your core like playmaking setup now you could end up having the core badge patterns so you could activate like two uh core badges so if you really want to work on some you'll probably end up pouring gold unpluckable which will give you a turnaround of five extra badge points so then you can turn around and do whatever you really need to do without putting extra badges in the playmaking but you know at the end of the day you want to make it so that it's still your own you have your own unique touch on it right and then for defense i would go i don't know gold menace because you're not really gonna be doing too much still so i do like silk nah we'll do gold here for workhorse put on your like silver glove core that Put on silver interceptor you still got four badge points so then you can put on like a ankle braces if you're really concerned or pick dodger or you can go ahead and put on like an off ball pest and there you go you're all set to go now that is the build over here on next gen i'm gonna swing on over to current gen and show you guys how to make the build over there so give me one second first things first make sure to sub if you still have enough to this point and like the video for you boy but position we're gonna go with point guard hand we're gonna go right hand showing respect to curve we're gonna go with 30. height we're gonna go 61 weight we're gonna go 191 and wingspan we're gonna drop down to 62 body shape doesn't really matter i'm gonna go with the find here and then for your close shot you're gonna bring this up to a 70. driving lip you're gonna bring it to an 81. Then your three point, you're gonna max out to a 99. Your free throw, we're gonna leave all this alone for right now. Um, ball handle, just like on next gen, if you don't care for the Trey Young or the Curry escape, you can bring it up to a 90, but I'm gonna bring it up to a 92 just to get that extra playmaking badge and to get those animations. And then pass accuracy, we're gonna bring it up to a 75, so we should have 20 playmaking. Perimeter defense, we're gonna bring all the way up to like an 80. The steal, we're gonna bring up to an 86, so we get that extra defensive badge. Acceleration, we're gonna max out at a 90. Speed, we're gonna bring up to an 80. Stand, we're gonna bring all the way up to a 97. And then with that last little bit of points, we're just gonna put in a free throw and you should have a 79 free throw. So if you made the build correctly, you should have 12 finishing, 29 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 18 defense, which I don't think is bad at all. Plus you get that steal like it is on current gen with it being super broken, silver glove is gonna be perfectly fine for you. And then for your takeover options, you get shot creator, sharp and playmaking so in the spirit of step career we're gonna go with shot of course and we'll probably go with playmaking just to break some ankles and if you made the build correctly you should get a shot career with shades of mark price fred van vliet and trey young but hey this is going to be the best 99 three point slash steph curry build in all of nba 2k23 if you found the video informative and you're brand new once again please make sure to hit that sub button we're getting closer and closer we're literally like 50 subs away from hitting our goal of 16k and i can't do it without y'all hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out any more content and smash the like button and if you ever want to catch me live i live stream every single day over on twitch link will be down in the description because until later on the night y'all well, you can definitely catch me in the live stream it's been your boy dubs and i love y'all man and uh go crazy with the build as always <laughs> peace